East Palo Alto police detectives are searching for the person responsible for the city's first homicide of the year. As KTV's Jesse Gary reports, up until this killing, the city has seen a decrease in violent crime. For one year, East Palo Alto has been free of sidewalk memorials honoring murder victims. Near the corner of University and Bell, the first such memorial for 2024. What happened that night? Uh, I can't really explain too much. I was over there getting something to eat off the table over there. I looked over here and the guy was... Some guy hit the other guy. This man, who doesn't want his identity revealed, says he saw two men get stabbed last month. Surveillance video released by police shows a fight on the corner around 9 o'clock at night, February 8th. An unidentified suspect stabs one man who's been identified as Frank Finney. The second victim wasn't seriously hurt. The suspect then gets in a white SUV and leaves the scene. Finney was being treated at a nearby hospital for his injuries, but died last Saturday. Frank was cool. He was humble, quiet. He looked out for people. He was my OG partner. The homicide in February breaks a streak of 12 months with no murders in this city. And the year before that, 2022, there were five homicides, and all those cases have been solved. Investigators now hoping the public will help them solve this latest case. I don't believe this is going to start a trend um, because we do have officers uh, actively going out there and, again, uh, building that, uh, that community trust, that uh, community policing. Um, and, uh, and we're actively stopping uh, and talking to, to subjects out there. Detectives believe finding the white SUV that left the scene will yield clues and possibly a suspect, but they don't have a plate number or vehicle make or model. So they're asking residents to call if they have information. I hope they catch the suspect. I'm serving as justice, you know what I'm saying? In, in Mr. Nitty's family. In East Palo Alto, Jesse Gary, KTVU Fox 2 News.